I'm a direct beneficiary of one of the most monstrous crimes in human history, a crime against humanity um, that, if anything, is worse than the crimes of the Nazis, because the Nazis didn't succeed in their ultimate crimes, whereas uh, those who conquer conquered the Americas and settled it with my ancestors actually did succeed in kicking the people off the land, killing them off, and um, obliterating their civilization. This is what the Nazis wanted to do in Eastern Europe and Russia in the Second World War. Well, here in North America, in my country, Canada, they actually got away with it. They actually pulled it off. And I'm living um, on this land that, by rights, sort of historically speaking, I shouldn't be living on, and I'm benefiting from it. <clears throat> now, I accept my measure of guilt for that. I understand that um, uh, maybe I didn't actually do it, but I am benefiting from crimes that were committed a long time ago. Now, um, what should I do about the fact that I, that this is uh, this monstrous crime has been committed? This uh, mind-boggling crime, one of the possibly the worst crimes of history. What do I do now? Is this a debt that I can ever repay? No, I can't. <clears throat> um, I can't. And um, I want to do what I can as a limited human being um, to um, pay my share of that debt. But um, it, when you look at it that way, it's very difficult to calculate what, it, what each individual's share of the debt of all the horrors of humanity are. Uh, in fact, I think it's a rather insane sort of calculation to attempt to, to enter into. What is my share of all the evils of the world, me as an individual? I can see the fact that I occupy this land and that this land is a result of a monstrous crime. Okay, how do I make amends? Is it possible for me to make amends? I don't really know if it is possible. I don't know if, it's, uh, if there's any way that uh, such a crime ever can be expunged. Now what? I'm still alive. What do I do? Well, I do what I can as a, as a human being, and um, I, once I'm satisfied or once reasonably I can say that I've done everything that I can to, to, uh, to atone for this within the boundaries of a normal human existence, I think that that's enough. Um, even though I know full well that the scale of the crime is too big even to contemplate fixing. There is no fix to this, but some fix has to be attempted. Otherwise, we're just saying that crime is okay, that massive crimes are okay. Crimes against humanity of this scale. But what is not useful when trying to atone for these sorts of things is to hate myself forever. To constantly go around beating myself up for something that happened in the past and that no amount of atonement is ever going to fix. That's the stupid religious concept of original sin, that I'm born sinful. Uh, no, thank you. I don't, I don't uh, buy into that one. Um, at least I don't uh, buy into it in terms of some sort of uh, beholdenness, some sort of obligation that I have, a debt that I can never repay to every other human being that has ever lived, and more importantly, ever will live. <clears throat> because... Not only would an antinatalist um, uh, argument say that uh, the living are responsible for the suffering that takes place during their own lifetimes, but their very every action that they ever uh, engage in creates ripples effect, ripple effects throughout an infinite future. Um, the time, the the present is nothing, a tiny little infinitesimal thing. So any kind of little tiny move that you make will set out set off um, endless um, ripples throughout time into the infinite infinity of the future. It's virtually impossible to so much as have your heart beat without um, uh, causing endless suffering from here until eternity. <clears throat> um, I'm reminded of those you know science fiction episodes in the various series that come around of somebody who goes back in time and swats a fly that wasn't supposed to have been swatted and as a result of doing that they they return to the present day and their the present that they left behind before they went back to the past has become this hellish utopian nightmare um, the possibilities of uh, of messing things up through time travel are pretty well explored in science fiction <clears throat> But to me, that kind of guilt, that kind of um, unpayable debt 
and, a, and an unpayable debt even to people that have never been born yet is nothing short of insane. And it reminds me very much of the guilt that was always inflicted on us in Catholic school. Yes, the present is a tiny little thing. I am a tiny little individual, and I'm being asked to feel guilty about every sin that has ever taken place since uh, Adam bit into that apple, and I'll probably be responsible for every sin that ever takes place between my miserable existence and the rest of time, because uh, time is, as they say, so much more large than... Uh, uh, the, the future is so much bigger than the present. Now, this is a shell game being played, um, again, it, with the intent of making sure that each of us who's alive right now feels the maximum amount of culpability for all the ills of the of the of history of whatever history there ever was and whatever history there ever will be it it results to a, a a burden of guilt that is simply insupportable for anyone so the best thing that we can actually do is to just feel horrible about ourselves forever that kind of thinking actually does take place in the depressed mind and I think that anyone who actually looks at the antinatalist argument in terms of uh, the individual, the living individual's culpability for all the hells that will ever follow, and even accepts the fact that even as we exist right now, we are benefiting from hellish crimes that took place in the past, is simply abusing uh, the, the normal concept of a healthy conscience in order to... Uh, um, in order to overvalue um, the the crimes that actually do take place and overstate their value in terms of all the nice things that take place in this in this continuum that we call human existence. If I'm going to get blamed for all the bad things, okay, I'll accept my share of the blame. As I said, I'm not trying to, even though I wasn't even there when the native people were thrown off their land, I understand that I do bear a share of the of the guilt. But having said that, um, I wasn't uh, there when all kinds of nice things took place, which don't really tend to get into the history books because they're boring. Um, so I want to be thanked for all the good things that have ever happened as well, if I'm going to be held accountable for all the bad things that ever happened. If I'm in my miserable little present here going to be held accountable for every bad thing that I ever do as it gets multiplied in, in violence and in uh, uh, harm effect throughout uh, the future, I want to take credit for all the good things that ever happened in the future as well, which are as a result, which come about as a result of a chain reaction that I'm setting off now, even though I don't even know that I'm doing it. The whole shell game that does get played with time, and uh, with uh, the past, the present, and the future in the antinatalist discourse, especially what I call the Benatarian discourse, is completely and utterly crazy. And um, again, if you try and make sense out of it and try and justify it and try and justify your own position in it, the only possible result is a moral blind alley that leads to nothing but a crushing amount of guilt and depression. No thank you.